every thousand miles journey begins with one step towards the relevant destination. And every ocean begins with a drop of water from a particular source. The case is not different from the Indian Ocean. While its main source of water is the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf, the Zambezi River is the largest African river which flows into the Indian Ocean. Zambia is among other countries that contribute to the source of the Indian Ocean through the Zambezi River. Since Zambia as a country hosts the source of the Zambezi River, it is then proper to say that as a nation we contribute to the being of the Indian Ocean. In this episode, we are visiting the source of the Zambezi River in Ikelenge district of the northwestern province in Zambia. Ikelenge district is 309 kilometers from its provincial capital Solwezi via Mwinilonga which is 67 kilometers away and 936 kilometers away from the Zambian capital Saka. And we are now in the premises of the Zambezi River Source, a national heritage conserved by the National Heritage Conservation Commission. We are now entering the area where the source of Zambezi is. As you can see here it says Zambezi Source National Monument. So I suppose walking a few kilometers this side, that is where we see where the Zambezi River starts from. For now, I'll be guiding you until we reach the place. And by the way, we are also going to see the other side of the Zambezi River where it ends until where it flows into Zimbabwe and maybe at some point until when it flows into the Indian Ocean. For now, accompany me on this trip as we see where the Zambezi source is. Follow me. On my way to Zambezi source, I've just found another monument which is saying um, Independence Monument. And I suppose on that plot there, there should be something there. Let me just see what is there. And on this plaque, the message here reads, this plaque was unveiled on 24th October 1964 to mark the attainment of independence after 70 years of colonial rule. It is dedicated to all those people, men and women, who by personal sacrifice enable independence to be achieved. This monument, stands at the source of the Zambezi River, from which Zambia has derived its name, and which with great tributaries has played so large a part in the life and history of its people and uh, commemorates the birth of a new nation in which all people are free, equal, and united. The most important thing I found here is the plaque was unveiled on 24th October 1964. Who unveiled it? This man is a resident of uh, Mwinunga, a senior citizen. He has so many uh, positions at heart in the past and he has worked for so many years in the civil service. And now he has something to say about this because that was the 24th October was the day when Zambia got independence. So then how was it uh, unveiled? So Mr. Maplando, how was this plaque unveiled here? Yes, as part of the, the celebration, mm -hmm. Dr. Matoka was sent to this uh, source, as many other leaders were sent to other sources, yes. other areas rather. To be you part mean, of those communities. You mean Peter Matoka, the late Peter Matoka. The late Peter Matoka. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Peter Windu Matoka. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. It's unfortunate that 
when we have come to this site and we're talking of the Jubilee, mm -hmm. is uh, no more. Mm -hmm. May his soul rest in peace mm -hmm. and eternal peace. Okay, Mr. Maplanga, now we'll go together to the Zambezi source. Because of your knowledge, you have to explain a few things for me and for the generations uh, uh, that are yet to come. Well, for sure, I'm more than willing to do that. Uh, please, uh, let us go. Thank you so much. I suppose we are now getting into the details of uh, the Zambezi source where it is. But there is something here. Mr. Maplanga, how, how, what is the reading here? This is the reading in Yolanda for welcome to Zambezi source. In Yolanda it's reading Kenumani Kusuru Yambezi. Ah, Kenumani Kusuru Yambezi. Meaning, welcome to the source of the Zambezi. Uh -huh. This Yambezi is the, the Zambezi I will be talking about. Okay. The Lunda variation is Yambezi. Yambezi, ah, okay. The rose is called it Yambai. Ah, Yambai. The Yambai is actually you Yambezi. You have the other names which have been subscribed yes. mm. for whatever benefit they are derived from this mm. big river. Mm. Okay. Right. So this is actually a welcome. We are now being welcomed into the area of the Zambezi. So, in fact, here to say the Yambeji. I'm sure Zambia is supposed to be called the Yambia, right? Right. You remember <laughs> I was explaining this at the office. Yes, that yes. If we go to the name Yambia, mm -hmm. it would be quite giving headache to a lot of the, 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 the people of Zambia. Yes, yes. So we needed a common name, mm -hmm. and that is how the Kaunda had come up with the very word Zambezi, uh -huh. and it covered it and accommodated everybody in Zambia. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> now we are going inside to see uh, the source of uh, uh, Yambezi. <laughs> Please accompany me, let us go. Uh, we, we are still moving. In this uh, thicket, it is, it is about uh, 400 meters, 300 meters from where, from the main entrance there. And I think we have covered about uh, 200 meters so far. We still have another 100 meters before we reach uh, the, the actual source. <laughs> Please don't be tired. <laughs> Let's go. Now walking on our way to the, the, the to the source to the Zambezi source. I like the way look at the way the national tree has uh, preserved this. You know, it's, it's like a swing. The kids can even enjoy here. And I, I think the families should make an effort to bring their families here, their children here, and just have a feel. And off of the other side. And you say the is it seven kwacha for, for the locals? Yes, for, please. Seven, for seven, Zambians, seven, kwacha. seven kwacha for the Zambians. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure everybody can afford that. Yes. Seven kwacha for the locals. How much do you spend for a talk to them in your papers anyway? <laughs> it's up to you to make a, a to make a choice. Ah. I suppose uh, this is uh, the Zambezi sauce now. The real, the actual. Uh
Mr. Mapranga. Hello. You are telling me this is the source. This is the actual source. This is the famous uh, Zambezi source. The Zambezi River originates from here. And this is the water here. This water, which I have touched now, at some point it will reach the Indian Ocean. I'm putting back this water. Here. Yeah. This water, I repeat, at some point reach the Indian Ocean. The Zambezi River is about 3,540 kilometers long from this source. Meaning, if we are to find where this water goes into the, the Indian Ocean, we have to walk another 3,000 540 kilometers from here, then we'll be into the Indian Ocean at the side of uh, uh, Mozambique. It drains an area of about 1,390,000 kilometers square, referred to as the Zambezi River Basin. This basin is shared by uh, countries like Angola, uh, Zambia, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Mozambique, and Tanzania. The average discharge at the delta it is 3,400 meters cubic per second. Anyway, I'm so happy that I have finally made it here with the help of the big man I here, you so much. <laughs> Mr. Maplaka. Thank you so much. <laughs> but anyway, maybe we can also look around here. There are plaques here, as you can see. This is uh, the map of Zambia, and the uh, uh, wow, it is, it is showing a number of uh, places. Uh, there is uh, Mwinilunga, Solwezi, Kitwe, Kapirinponchi, Lusaka, Lake Kariba, and it is just showing some water areas, you know, and also Kaoma up there, then Chipata. Yeah, and uh, that is another, uh, uh, another uh, plaque by the National Heritage Conservation. It's a National Heritage Conservation Commission will ensure a future for Zambia's heritage. Of course, I think it has been well kept and um, so many children, so many generations to come, they'll find uh, this area. Now, uh, I will talk to uh, Mr. Chiwaya, who is uh, the caretaker of this area, just to find out what really goes on here. M M Mr. Chiwaya is, uh, this is the man who is in charge of the area here. Uh, Mr. Chiwaya, can you just tell us a little bit more about uh, this point where we are now? Yes, um, thank you so much. Thank you so much that you've come and uh, we are finally, of course, at the source of uh, the Zambezi River. Mm -hmm. Like he, I might have mentioned already, this is the beginning of the 3,540 into the Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. Yes, really, the Zambezi begins to flow from here, where you find this uh, fallen tree. Mm -hmm. The fallen tree has been in this same position for about uh, 70 years and so on. Mm -hmm. Although this tree is still very fresh, you can see it has uh, branches growing on top of it. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this place actually used to be a shrine. Mm. The whole of this area used to be a shrine, where people, not everybody was allowed to come up to this point. Mm. You know, a shrine has rules, yes. uh, has rules to be followed. In the Lundaland area, usually, uh, people that were allowed to come to here were those that are circumcised. Mm. And, uh, people that might not have uh, had difficulties in uh, their families, such people were not allowed to come up to the first point of the uh, Zambezi. Mm. So the river begins to flow from here, Yes. then it goes into Angola. Mm. Uh, maybe as I uh, go back in the Vista Information Center, I'll be able to show you on the map uh, the way it flows up to the um, Indian Ocean. Yes. Yes, the Zambezi begins to open up widely, slightly at five kilometers. Mm. If you drive five kilometers from uh, here, yes. this little water has started already forming up. Mm. Because that's where we have the first tributary joining in. Mm. 
and later on at What's 40. the name of the tribute? Um, the name of the tributary is called Kangwadi. Mm. Kangwadi um, is the name of a bed. Okay. There are small beds that uh, were plenty by then, not now. Mm. Were plenty by then around that area. That is the part of this. That is the part of the mm. mm. oh, Fine, fine, fine. Ah, okay. So a lot of those beds were common in those areas. That's why the name, uh, the name of the first tributary was named Kangwadi. Mm. Now, if you continue uh, driving, you drive for 8 kilometers. Mm. It's the first rapids. Okay. The Zambezi first uh, rapids. From mm. there now, the Zambezi river goes into uh, Angola. Ah, okay. Yes, that is uh, about the Zambezi river at the source. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, how how is how have um, the local people here? In Nikelenge, now that it is now that it is in Nikelenge, it is now in Nikelenge and not in Minunga, uh, as it has sure, been done. Sure. How have uh, the people here received the, the, this? Uh, uh, do they really appreciate, or do they even know the importance of this pond? Yes, you see, um, people really understand the importance of um, this river. Mm. If you can see, we are only um, four of us here. Yes. We have two security men and uh, two conservation assistants. I'm a conservation assistant with my fellow workmen. Mm. And the protected area is about 36.8 uh, hectares. Mm. So it means that it's quite a big area. Mm. But we are, help, we are helped actually by the local people. Mm. You would find that uh, the area is quite big. Mm. Uh, we can't squat here and there almost every time. You know, the 36.8 is quite a big yes, area. Yes, yes. And at the same time, we have to receive visitors, mm. attend to visitors and mm. so on. So the local people have, uh, we have really educated them such that they know that this is the source of a big river. Mm. And uh, the protected area, we've got them, they are not supposed to do any activities in the protected forest area. Mm. So we uh, understand that uh, they really know the importance of uh, such a big river and know that, and that they cannot do any activities at the, at the source. Uh, that, that means that they, they appreciate that uh, it is quite important to uh, look after. Uh, do, 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 you, do you have any challenges in the day to day operation? Uh, not much. Mm. Um, Though there are slightly some difficulties, especially the period of mushroom around this time. Yeah. Now people want to, ah, again, want to get mushroom, mushroom uh, yes, from the from the, from the forest, uh, forest area. Yes, 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 yes. Because they believe that in the protected area, that's where they can find things a lot, that, uh, a yes, lot, a lot yes. of them. Mm. So we try to make sure that uh, even when they intervene, but uh, they are not supposed to do a lot of. Uh, much harm uh, because what happens is they would want to cut a tree so that they use it as a log for carrying ah, the mushrooms ah, and so, uh -huh. so we try to discourage them mm. and then there's another period of caterpillars yeah? yes, yes, that's yes. the time that we experience a lot of uh, difficulties <laughs> with the locals yeah. but otherwise even when they do that mm. but they still feel that they are not doing the right thing mm. so that means they understand the importance of uh, the the protected forest and the importance of the river, of course. Mm. And the other thing is, the locals come in free. Okay. Uh, so when they want to come in for an activity, mm. they want to come and worship, they want to do one or two things in here, we don't charge them. Yeah. Uh, they come in free. Mm. But uh, for those that are five kilometers outside the Nikelen. area, yes, those pay seven kwachas mm. uh, mm. as entry fees. Mm. Mm. Then for the foreigners, they pay 100 kwachas. Mm. Oh, okay. So they really see the difference and mm. think that we, they are considered. Yes, yes. Cooler. Mm. Yes. What, what, what message would you have uh, for, say, for, for the general people? Of here and maybe even the Zambians in general. Yes, yes, yeah. you see, um, I, I, you know, the visitors that come here, I try to understand, I try to make them understand that uh, the way we celebrate independence, I, I don't think that is the right thing that we are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You know, when the independence monument is at the source of the Zambezi River, yeah. then I also go to celebrate independence at the wrong monument. I, I, I may not, two kilometers away from away here. Away from here, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. 
I'm doing a right thing at a wrong time, at yes, the wrong yes, place. Yes, 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 yes. So if, if really what is in your mind is the celebrating independence, mm. of course the first thing that's supposed you to come to, to your mind is the, the, the monument, yes, yes at the yes. side. Of and the monument is there. Uh, the monument that, is there. That is where we, we started from. That yes, is right. yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So you see, I'm trying to encourage my fellow Zambians. Eh? Mm. If they are thinking of yes. independence, uh-huh. yes, yes. they are supposed to be right here where there is the independence monument. Mm. Now I've worked here for about um, five years now. And on the Independence Day, you only see people coming late in the evening and will tell you that we are celebrating Independence in Mwenilunga. Uh. You will find they are dressed in gowns and geared for... Independence. You were supposed to be here, be here, thinking of Independence right here. As Mr. Chiyawa mentioned, the water moves underground, but at some point, it opens up. So we visited an area where it opens up. I, I hear this is um, one place, the underground point. Mm. Where that water from the starting point passes yes. on, the, on its way to the Indian Ocean. Yes. What can you tell us about this? Um, like, uh, like I was saying, mm-hmm. the Zambezi from uh, the source yes. flows uh, underground uh, at some points. Mm. Uh, then 300 meters um, in this direction, you to now come out completely on the surface, mm. then begins to form up up to the Indian Ocean. Mm. So this is about 200 meters from the source, so the river passes underground. So at points like this and then the other point in front, you are able to see the, mm. the river passing underground. Mm. And remember I talked about the water being herbal. Eh? Yes, 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 yes. So this is how the water collects the herbal minerals. Ah. It flows underground from the source. So if you see, these are herbal, herbal roots. Okay. Uh, this is a botanical forest, like I said earlier on. So mm. most of these trees that we are seeing here have medicinal value. Mm. So as the river flows underground, the water passes through these herbal roots. Yeah. So that's how the water becomes also herbal at a certain point, mm. where it completely comes out from the ground. When mm. it becomes on the surface, the water has also mm. collected the herbal minerals. Okay. That's why this water becomes herbal at a certain point. Mm. So, so all over here, the water is underground, underground. Oh. Yeah, it opens up a, a bit, bit, yes, and then it closes. Then it closes then again. It goes underground, underground up to a certain point where we'll see it again. Uh-huh. Uh, then from there, 300 meters, it comes out completely. Then begins to fall up to the Indian Ocean. When it opens up, what is, what is the name? When it opens up finally, you say 300 meters, it opens up. Yes. Does it still remain Zambezi? Yes, it continues to remain Zambezi. Yes. Uh, okay. All this part is still called Zambezi. Oh yeah, beige in any way you want it oh, to be. Whichever yeah. way. <laughs> yes. uh-huh. Okay. So, uh, here it, it continues uh, flowing. Let me just get a shot, a close shot here. Uh. Okay. So, this this point we see here, uh, as little uh, as it, uh, very small, I think this is about uh, uh, 50 centimeters? Yes, about 50. About 50 centimeters. Where it goes, where it goes far away, that is where now <laughs> it gets into uh, uh, the, the Indian Ocean. So, in fact, we contribute to the Indian Ocean. You know? Uh, I'll still prove the point. Even here, we'll wash. Mm. Uh, this water again goes into the Indian Ocean. At what, what do you call this? This bridge? Suspended bridge. This is all we had for you from the source of the Zambezi River in Ikalenga district. However, from here, we now go by water to Livingstone and see where the Zambezi River ends from the Zambian side. And this is the Zambezi River, whose source is in Ikalenga district. As we discussed.
discuss in the, the moments ago uh, about uh, the, the source of the Zambezi River. When uh, we visited the Ikelengi district, uh, which actually houses uh, the source of the Zambezi River. Uh, this is the map. Uh, as you can see on top, that says the journey of the mighty Zambezi River. We started this journey from Ikeleng district at, actually, at the actual point where uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the river starts from. And uh, this was the area here. Uh, uh, it is uh, in uh, Kelene Hills. In fact, Kelene Hills come from the name of Ikeleng. I may not know the, the, the actual meaning, but comes from the, the name Ikeleng. Ikeleng is now a district. Initially, it was uh, under Mwinilunga district. But uh, since uh, uh, the declaration of uh, Ikeleng as a district itself, uh, things are changing now. The, the Zambezi source is now in Ikeleng district, which is uh, this point here. Uh, the Zambezi source, as, as you can see there. So from the source there, uh, it goes uh, through Angola, and then it comes back into Zambia through Chavuma. Uh, it comes through Mongo in the Barossa Plains, the Sioma, and uh, the Sioma Flats, the Sheke, and you here in Livingstone. And we are actually in Livingstone, where uh, uh, the, the, the Zambezi River passes through uh, en route to uh, Mozambique, Chinde, the Indian Ocean. This is all we had for you in this episode. Join us in the next and the final episode which shall be the wrap-up of the whole production.